every time I come get a haircut and like I leave here, I'm like, damn, I feel, I feel good. Hey, what's up Beard Brand fam? Little secret, we're gonna be giving away some of our Tree Ranger Utility Wash and Softener to a lucky winner. All you gotta do is participate and I'm gonna give you the details at the end. Uh, it's been about three years, kind of a COVID project, I guess. Okay. And it's got to the point where it's just, it's too long, man. Yeah. Texas summer, it's too hot. Yeah. It's time to go short. We're gonna donate it. We're gonna, okay. yeah. You're donating it here, where are you donating it to? Uh, wigs for kids. Uh, we're going short, just something How like, short? Pretty, pretty short, yeah. pretty short. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like buzzing it, but like compared to where it's at now, it's going short, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. My girl has no idea I'm doing this also. Oh, she doesn't? No clue. Holy shit. Yeah, she said it's not for a conference right now. It's like, it's like perfect. That's it, you're done. Done. You're done. That's it. Cool. What do you think, bro? It actually works. It works on you, Chris. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Eric Leha, or you might know me as the Primal Soldier on social media. Well, this is where they cut the best hair, best beard products, best hair products. I've been coming here for almost a couple years. Get a beard trim, get faded real nice and tight. They really take care of me here, and the conversations that we have. You know, you really feel like family here. Pull up some examples of how I want my hair to look. That's what your, I use. Your, your classic cut. Yeah, classic cut. <laughs> yeah. Definitely just yeah. bring the beard down a little bit. Yeah, I'm liking these, I'm liking these waves up here, bro. You like the waves? Dude, uh, maybe we'll keep the waves. Curls, get the girls, man. And then we'll go I, a little higher you get, on the you face. Get, you get curls here and here. <laughs> you been doing jujitsu? Hell yeah, man. Me and Kenny roll. Bro, you gotta stop training with Kenny. You're never gonna get better. If you're like the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. <laughs> The other way to think about it is like, if you're in a room full of nine millionaires, you're probably gonna be the 10th one, eventually. I better get out of this place then. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now I'm working on not a new program, but I'm gonna start doing some one-on-one -on -one online coaching, trying to get some guys some crazy transformations. Let's go. <laughs> and you already jacked many engineers to wear smaller shirts. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you to fill out that shirt. 2020. Yeah. Was that when you had a mistake? When you kind yeah, of. Yeah, <laughs> that was after I started coming here. Yeah, he, he chopped it by accidentally. Uh, and yeah, he just took up the whole thing yeah. man, and started from scratch. I've been wanting to, to trim it down again. I trimmed it like a couple months ago and I was like, F that looks way different. I'm going back out. So like, I got scared. Bob was like, yeah, just trim it first. Don't shave it all off. So he kind of scared me away from shaving it. <laughs> Like, I've seen your pictures without the beard, so yeah. <laughs> nah, people tell me I look like handsome Squidward. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna join that. I'm gonna join that transformation that Primal's throwing on. I'm gonna f***ing smoke y'all. <laughs> Man, I started getting haircuts. At a really young age, my aunt used to uh, cut hair. She used to practice on us too. I know when she first started, she would give us like some bowl cuts. And then in middle school, I rocked the fresh fade all the time. So kind of, that had to be like a big upkeep. So like my lunch money, I would save that money. And on Fridays, I would, you know, skip school sometimes to go get a haircut. It was always one of those things for me that it just made me feel really good. Like, you know, being cleaned up, being fresh, made me feel good, so. So what do we want to do today? So still kind of letting the hair grow. Yeah. So want to keep letting it grow. I don't know, kind of keeping some volume here so it kind of like flows back a little bit Right, cleaner. so it doesn't like get so heavy. Yeah. I would say in that case, let's. I'm gonna take it a little bit shorter, uh -huh. just just in this area. Yeah, okay. Because it's like, once there's enough length, mm -hmm. if it's too short, it sticks up. If it's too long, it just falls flat. Yeah, I accidentally 
trim my beard a little bit too short in the dark. So it's like, so I guess just fade it in and kind of keep in the length yeah. here so it starts kind of growing back out. But as soon as I, I'm done here, I had to go back to the gym. I have done for a period of time one of Juan's training regiments and uh, he definitely knows how to put you through it. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So I started working out from a young age, but I was husky. I guess that's the word husky. We grew up kind of like that uh, talking shit mentality where like you ride on each other, like your mama's so fat, your <laughs> shoes are this, you're that, you know? I grew up with friends like that, so you know, so sometimes my weight was one of those things where like kind of like, okay, cool. You know, it got me, it motivated me to work out. And I just started working out in my garage in the summer and just lifting weights. And I really liked the way it made me feel. I, I got that habit of like going to work out and you know, that just, it just taught me discipline. And, uh, you know, once I started l looking better, feeling better, you know, I started getting more attention from the girls. I was like, oh, okay, like this is this is where it's at for me, you know? What do you think her reaction's gonna be like? I think she's gonna be excited. Yeah. Well, she's been telling me to cut it forever. Yeah. So, so I think, you know, I think she's ready for it. She has no idea I'm doing it. No, like, I think I told two people I was doing it, so it's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> now, is the mustache COVID grown as well, or? Pretty much, but if I don't have any facial hair, then I look like I'm 14, so you gotta have something. I don't really have a density anywhere else, so, yeah. The mustache and, the, and this hairstyle is gonna go hand in hand, man. The side of your head hasn't seen any sun in I know. three years, man. It's wild. I think you're gonna have phantom hair for a minute. Like, moving it out of the way when it's not there, you know? Yeah. Did you hear about that time I dyed my hair blonde? No. <laughs> How'd that go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw some pictures of myself. It didn't look terrible. It looks way better Man, than Jesse's like pink hair. Up. Yeah, you've had you've had braids. You've had Back when I was long like hair. Pounds. You've had short hair. You got buzz head. Yeah, you've had you've had all the haircuts, man. I watch all my porn on my phone. <laughs> What's your favorite type of porn? Ooh, uh, pterodactyl. <laughs> now I hope that everyone goes and searches pterodactyl porn because it is a thing. Good luck spelling that word though. The, the P is silent, y'all. As I'm getting older, I just turned 30 years old. Like I've dealt with a lot of injuries recently. And I'm like, man, I gotta be more mindful with my training and my recovery. But I'm definitely like trying to stay away from doing like crazy party tricks. Like I did this this thing today where I, I held Claire like overhead and did like a dragon flag. Wait, that did not feel good. That shit was dangerous. <laughs> this is some that David shit. Blaine stuff, man. Yeah, I am growing my hair out right now. I have some like no pattern balding. Oh yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. it was like it was just thinning a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, man, I just decided to like kind of like you know be transparent with people. I got like a hair transplant. You know, I got a hair transplant and it was like. It was more of a preventative thing. Like I wasn't like bald, no. but it was a preventative thing that I was like, for what I do, you know, I think appearance is very important. You know, you gotta kind of like, you know, you gotta feel confident, you gotta look good. And I think the misconception with a lot of men is like, oh, like, you know, like if you go bald, you go bald and like you kind of just own it, which is cool to own it. And I, I'm a true believer you own it. Right, but right. I was like, if, it, if your hair makes you feel confident, then take care of it. Like I tell Ari, every time I come get a haircut and like I leave here, I'm like, damn, I feel, I feel good, you know, I feel like, yeah. you know, I feel fresh. And yeah, so it's like, whatever whatever it takes. If I feel good, I'm gonna go in the gym and work out harder. I'm gonna take better care of myself. I kind of feel like that ties in everything from like working out, eating well, taking care of your appearance. Like it's all just part of like a self-care. Like I didn't have any mirrors in my house besides, like even when my restroom was getting remodeled, have any mirrors and I, I'm the type of guy like, this is just as good as it's gonna get. And you know, and I go with it, but you know, like my girl's living with me now and she brought like these big mirrors. So now I'm like, oh shit, this is how I really look. I'm right, like, you're like, oh, okay. let, let's, let, about yeah, let me go. There. So I'm getting better about it. But yeah, I've been using product and it's just like, you know, finding the right amount of water and like, you know, how wet it is or how dry it is has been like 
kind of the tricky part for me, but. That's the thing with curly hair, or like mm -hmm. wavy curly. It's, yeah. It's like cool with the texture, but like every day it's a little different. Yeah. It falls a little different, you know? Honestly, I'm gonna actually try putting it in dry. One spread on the side, one in the middle, one on the right, and like one in the back. Go right here, one, two, three. I'm gonna run that through the hair. So, of course your hair is gonna get like a little bit extra curly, mm -hmm. but that's also why I'm trying to put it in drier. Okay. So that it doesn't get like too crazy. Okay. What happened to the rest of the hair, man? Yeah, are you going to use it for the voodoo doll collection that we're making? Yeah, that's right, man. He's on the wall for me, bro. Hey, old school. <laughs> we worked at an old shop where we said we were hippie killers, man. So every time we got one of these, we nailed it up on the wall. <laughs> After about a year, it was pretty <laughs> gross. <laughs> There it is, <laughs> phantom hair. Right? <laughs> so, I heard you talking about the, the beard a little bit. Keeping it long, taking it back down a little bit. What yeah, you doing? let's try to make it look like this. Boom! Damn, look at those red ass lips. <laughs> yeah, what the, the fuck? Drinking Kool Aid or something? <laughs> <laughs> My brother's like, yeah, you look old. You don't even have any gray in here, man. I don't have any gray. It's because I pulled them out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. You just eyeballed it? Oh, yeah. And I wonder it's not consistent. Because <laughs> you get a janky ass jaw, man. I had had it longish, but not long. And I started looking like a really bad guy when I, when my, when my, I look like, uh, you know, I look like a villain in like one of the cartel movies. Like, this is definitely like, looks like he's gonna f some shit up, you know? Like, working for the wrong people. What if we had a theme song? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we like find a song? Why don't we take a poll about what the Beard Brand theme song should be and then see if we can get the rights to it. Mm -hmm. This is an idea. People should comment on this scene and see what they want. Y'all, start commenting like what kind of shit you want as the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's a, uh, at the end of the day, Going through, putting some pre-shave oil. Sometimes, especially with detail work like this, I'll occasionally just put pre-shave oil and then just hit it with a razor. That way it still has lubrication, but I can still see what's going on. I really do like to nitpick uh, with all the little corners and all the lines in here because I feel like that's what really gives structure to like a beard this short. That was awesome. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Chris is dope. You know, good times. Little weight off my shoulders. The world feels 20 degrees cooler. Yeah, yeah, dude, I'm excited, man. Zero regrets. No yeah, regrets. it was time, man. It was yeah. time. I was committed to the decision. If you need a cut, like you gotta go to the guys you're gonna trust, right? Um, definitely trust Chris. Uh, the guys in the great shop are great. It's a cool environment. Definitely come back. Oh man, dope as always. Guys, had some good conversation with the guys. Got a nice clean haircut, gave me exactly what I needed, what I wanted. So stoked to go out, back out in public and show off my new haircut. Feeling fresh, <laughs> definitely I feel like me again. Man, it was a great time. Obviously, you know, linking up with R for a haircut, it's always a great time, good conversation. The environment here in the shop is always a great, great time. Um, you know, my brother comes here, I come here. I got a bunch of clients that I train that come here. So, you know, obviously good vibes, so highly recommend it.
So the way you can win is by liking the video and commenting two hashtags, Beardbrand and TRWS. Oh, the other thing is, let us know which haircut in the video is your favorite. It's probably gonna be mine. Oh, also, ladies, this is a product that you can use for yourself, head to toe. So don't hesitate to participate. Hey, Beard Brand fam. We're gonna be giving away some of our Tree Ranger wash and softener, and it's gonna be given away to a lucky winner. Damn, man, I was, I was running out of shit to, okay. Hey, what's up, Beard Brand fam? We're gonna be giving away some Tree Ranger wash and mother <laughs> So this is how it happens, right? Hey, what's up, Beard Brand fam? Little secret, we're gonna be giving away some of our utility. Wash and softener. We're gonna be giving away some of our Tree Ranger utility wash and softener. Lucky winner. Ah, f***ing hell. Okay. <laughs> I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. It's f***ing great. You know why I came through? Because Jesse was f***ing doing stupid shit. <laughs> I was trying to play. I was trying to think of what I could ask Thomas to do uh, for this video. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if he could bust out the filters and give me like a uniform head. Like that kind of dope. A uniform head? A unicorn head. A unicorn head, all right. Just make my face an avocado. <laughs> <laughs> mom, what are you, help me out here. That's weird, I mom. Yeah, I heard there's something up there. If we even did go to the moon, which I don't, I don't think, yeah. I don't think we did. Conspiracies, dog. We in the conspiracy. I'm in the conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, scene, bro. Let's go, dude. Let's go deep.